Nash Mills, located on Apsley Hemel Hempstead, is surrounded by hills and grassy fields. With a small population of just 2,428, Nash Mills is known for its history and scenic beauty. One of the most well-known locations is the Grand Union Canal. The canal runs through Apsley and then connects to the River Gade. Despite having a small population, the area contains multiple housing estates dating back to the 1960s. There are three main estates, one located in Nash Mills, another in Apsley called the Manor Estate, and the last in Aspen Park. A corn mill was in the area, but had been converted to paper making during the 18th century and was later bought by John Dickinson and George Longman. Nash Mills was well known for the production of paper until 2006, the Paper Valley is a series of paper mills that are connected along a canal. The first being Two Waters Mill, which was built in 1763, and then Frogmore Mill, Apsley Mill, Nash Mill, Home Park Mill, Croxley Mill, and then finally Batchworth Mill. One of the most influential figures in the local paper mill industry was John Dickinson. Born in 1782, he is often compared to Isambard Kingdom Brunel because of how influential his innovations were on the industry. He owned many paper mills in the Nash Mills and Apsley areas. In 1804, he founded John Dickinson Stationery Limited, with one of its largest and most important contributions to the industry being a mechanised paper making process which was invented in the 1850s, with remnants of this invention still being found in modern day paper making machines. John Dickinson also brought many other things to the area, including schools, such as Nash Mills School. He also called for the construction of King's Langley Station, which was originally called Home Park Holt, presumably to bring in business and workers for the local paper mill industry he himself helped develop. Despite Dickinson's death in 1869, his company's legacy still lived on for many years to come, including a merger with another stationery company in 1966, which created Dickinson Robinson Group. However, the company's days were numbered, and in 1989, the company was acquired, and then in 2006, the paper mills in the group were sold and then closed. However, Dickinson's inventions still live on today. Although the Frogmore paper mill was not set up by John Dickinson, is there anything you can tell me about him? Um, lots of things really. I would say the way I would describe him to visitors is our local Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Everybody thinks about Isambard Kingdom Brunel, the Victorian Industrial Revolution. Um, in this area, John Dickinson is really that kind of person. Although Frogmore Mill itself wasn't Dickinson's mill, he did have many more in the fact that he had uh, Bourne End and Two Waters, Apsley, Nash, Home Park, Croxley, on it goes. Um, so he was an enormous influence in the area, and particularly locally, you've still got lots of that legacy in starting the local school um, of Shendish. So a lot of the buildings are still around, and his impact on employment and then future employment going on from there was enormous and a great inventor. Well, can you tell me about the history of the mill? It has a very long history. I could talk to you probably for some time. Um, the site is old. There's been a mill on this site we know right back to the days of the Doomsday Book in 1086. Um, not then making paper, but we've obviously got a record then of um, a mill on the site and actually lots in this area. Many of the paper mills actually began as corn mills. So this began as a corn mill, then it became a fuller's, making kind of felted type cloth, went back to being a paper mill, sorry, went back to being a corn mill, and then became a paper mill in about 1774. Okay. Um, why do you think the British Paper Company chose this specific area to set up the mill? Was it because, of, because John Dickinson already <coughs> had made the area quite popular, or was it any other reason? I mean, you had the history of paper that was here going back for such a long time. Um, this area, we call it Paper Valley, there was an enormous amount of paper making in southwest Hertfordshire, right across this area, um, High Wycombe, this area as well. Um, but I would assume that their choice was because, yes, the existing mills down here, the, the mills go back. Um, there's a whole legacy of paper making and also transportation. You have the transportation here, the canals are important and of course proximity to London.
In conclusion, we can say that Nash Mills, John Dickinson and his stationery company had a major part to play in helping making the paper industry what it is today, and indeed the area of Nash Mills itself. It may not seem like much, but when you look deep into the history of John Dickinson and his incredible work on the paper industry in the area, it's hard not to be amazed by just how much of a difference this one man and his company made to a complete industry. So the next time you're writing on a piece of paper, or even just printing something off, maybe take a second to think about how many engineering marvels led to that piece of paper being produced and think about how all of that was primarily down to one man and some mills in a small area of Hertfordshire. Jam, 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 jam. Put in jam in a jam jar.